Yuleidis Benitez is a hospital secretary and a mother of three children. She says she has to make do with her salary and her husband's to sustain her family due to the current inflation in Cuba. It's shocking to see how expensive food is at agricultural markets, tomatoes, onions, but you have no other choice than paying their price. So we use our salaries mostly to buy food and pay some bills. Economist David Pajon told me that Cuba, depending on the world market, has been impacted by COVID-19-derived world economic crisis, though it has its own peculiarities. Since 2019, this country has already faced economic recession with a 0.2% economy drop, which worsened with the onset of COVID-19 in 2020 and the reinforcement of the U.S. trade embargo. There was also a drop in local production of goods and imports due to lack of hard currency, while world trade has collapsed due to the pandemic. Fighting inflation is difficult, but not impossible to achieve, so Cuban authorities have drawn up a strategy towards a progressive improvement. Since last year, the government has adopted measures that would target the recovery of the devalued Cuban currency, improve state-run companies, expand the private sector, encourage agricultural production and hard currency sources, and assist vulnerable populations within the country. There are people with much less purchasing power. They need assistance because they can get frustrated. Some are senior citizens who live alone and depend on a small pension, which cannot afford all the basic food basket. Despite the tough scenario, the government says the measures are aimed at protecting the people. The government keeps control on specific prices of important products and services like staples distributed through ration cards, medications, fuel, public transportation, water and electricity. This adds to the initiative of setting up private and state-run micro, small and medium companies to encourage local production. As Cuban families face economic hardship, young mothers like Yuleidis Benitez hope to see the country's economy back on its feet again. Luis Chirino, CGTN, Havana.